Or you can be creative like a sculptor. By sculpting the object, you can also be inspired by the object itself while interacting with the object. So this is exactly what we want to reproduce with this technology. To help designer with a very simple UI, just to play with the object, move it to see how the lights reflect, how the character line uh, behave, and so on. Again, we are at the concept modeling phase, ideation concept modeling. So, but very quickly, in a few seconds, you can explore multiple design variations. So here, just by moving a little bit, you can, as a chief designer or as a designer, see how it looks like and take design decisions. Do I like it or not? And based on that, continue, continue your interactive mind process of creativity. If you go here and you want to, to add more art lines to see what it looks like, very quickly you can say, oh, I, I will do a character line here, and then I will play with it to see uh, some lighting effects if I do add more or less uh, dump here. So it's really a creative exploration tool. I'm selecting uh, the edge, and I'm just playing with the edge by uh, moving it. And in real time, I can see uh, the carpet, the reflection, the highlight, and so on. So it's really what we call virtual clear body. Just imagine in the past, if we go back 10, 15, 20 years ago, how long it takes to make this kind of design exploration. Okay, let's do a physical prototype, let's do it by hand, and do I like it or not, and so on. And you do multiple iterations, which can spend a lot of time, and you don't have the behavior of the method. Okay? And then when you're 